Good day, everyone out there in YouTube lands. Uh, once again, I'm Drew with Comics Elite here with Kyle, you know, not Kevin. Get it right, it's right there. Bold. I have to say, if you can't hear me, get it right down, right down there. There we go. There you go. It's, it's hard to figure out where you got point. We have multiple monitors going. So anyway, if you uh, fast forward through the beginning of our uh, video for the Skibbets and Mez, I'm gonna let you know. Hey, big announcement tomorrow, October 13th, Kyle's birthday. Of the odds. And we got Donnie Cates in the store tomorrow. Yay! Donnie Cates. Donnie Cates, famed writer of uh, Thor, Venom, Thanos, creator of Cosmic Ghost Rider, all of it. He is uh, here in the store signing all day. Uh, so tomorrow we'll be going live, Eastern Standard Time, starting at 1 p.m. Going at 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. We'll be here at the website store. He'll be signing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take a, a break. We're going to reset, siesta. Okay. take a siesta, recharge the batteries, and then we're going to be coming back uh, in their other location B, the OG store. Oh, yeah. Elmwood. He's going to be in store signing for the public from 5 to 7 p.m. So if you're in Indianapolis, Route 465, you see the great mm -hmm. times, take that uh, uh, Emerson, exit. Emerson, exit. Emerson exit, follow it around. He'll be right there. Have a, we'll have probably have like a nice little throne set up for him at the only location, you know. I think it's expected, yeah. It's expected, yeah. Some, some had, Thanos had some torches, yeah. yeah. Some blood and stuff all over, yeah. yeah. And uh, so you can come in, say hi, get some books signed. First two are free, five dollars after, all right. It's a deal. And then after that, after 7 p.m., we're gonna be going live on Facebook and YouTube. And like earlier in the day at 1 3 p.m., we'll we will be live on YouTube and Facebook to make sales. So, uh, live from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Going live. Normal time for yes. Ernie. Normal time for Ernie. Yes, yeah. normal time for Evil Ernie. Yeah. So um, if you can't make any of the – but here's the kicker, too. If you guys can't make any of the, any of the live sales, we're doing pre-sales right now at comicsleadcomics.com. You can go there right now. You can you can pre-buy anything you want signed by Donnie. we got stuff. we got tons of options. His uh, King in Black, mm. um, uh, Spawn, Spawn, Venom, Thor, Thanos. Mystery boxes. Yes. Mystery boxes are selling like crazy. They can be gone before you are able to get one. I so, see. like I said, we have options all day for you guys. Right? Yeah, you guys got to see these prints. Yeah, I mean, we're the oh, no prints. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing. 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 Don't worry about it. Yeah, stuff. Let's just say there's stuff we there's haven't stuff. seen. There's stuff we haven't seen before. Stuff and things that uh, you don't want to miss out on. No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. That's all I'm told. So yeah, tomorrow, big day, guys. Donny Cates. In store all day, do not miss out. All right, so we did not bury the lead, but let's get to where we're here. Top ten books of the week. Yay! So um, there's there's some stuff I have in my skip at some mess that may be in your top ten. I think so. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting. It will be. Yes, it will. All right, let's get to it. Okay. There we go. Uh, number ten. I got Dark Hold Iron ten, Man. Ten. Okay, that was my skip it. I had Challenge of the Super Sons, number seven to seven. That all. Um, I read it. Was my original ten. <clears throat> I kicked it out. You bumped it. I bumped it. You bumped it for Dark Hold Iron Man. Actually, I bumped it for another book, <laughs> but I just had to move it in the rotation. Wow. So I had more of a reaction to this. No, good or bad. <laughs> the art sucks. Yes. yes. This cover's great. Doesn't appear like this in the book at mm -hmm. all. But I at least felt something reading this. I mean, it's it's tragic. Mm -hmm. It's very tragic. Yeah. It's very depressing. It's very tragic, Brundlefly esque type story. That's ex pretty much exactly what it is. Yeah. And I at least felt something. Super Sons, <laughs> on the other hand, felt pointless. This was a solid wrap up, to in my opinion, to a mini series that's been going on for a year. The art stepped back up from the previous issue, which was that Steven Universe oh, crap. Oh God. Yeah. Yes. That student universe oh. cats were crap. And yes. uh it finally gets back to actual real art. That was real art. And uh solid ending. You know, I love the way it ended. It was just like, oh, so oh, it is those two. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, it was a solid conclusion, even though they commit they commit an egregious sin of telling and not showing and doing it after the fight thing. It's like, oh, don't do that. Yeah. I want to see this fight. But they weren't the saviors in their own book. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't save the day. Or did they? Yeah. I'm going to say no, judging by who shows up in this book at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's, okay. the, that's the problem when you see like 
afterwards. It's like after the fight. It's like ten minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Like, so that I mean that was a part I've liked. I've liked this series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I just had more of a reaction, good and bad, mm. reading this. Mm. And if that can get kind of a reaction out of me, mm. especially during a week where a lot of things are eh, or really good, I th- I think that earns its spot in the top ten. I believe this is a solid conclusion to a solid miniseries, okay. and uh, it has earned my spot in the top ten. Okay. okay, good, great, wonderful, outstanding, perfect. Love the idea. Me too. Hashtag me too. Yeah. I got Chicken Devil number one. I got Telepaths number two. Okay, that was a. Is that a meh? Nah? It was a meh for me. Yeah. It could have been a meh. I could see how you, you, you can see it as a meh. Yeah. Um, I just have a lot of fun with these characters. This guy, here, is awesome. I love, just the fact that he's in prison and then trying to get out and what he does to get out of prison, is awesome. Very. Uh. I guess I don't know. I I, I just it, it felt real. That's my problem. Me. That's my problem with it. It feels too real and too much of not fun. Because I did not have fun reading this. It just it just came across as very depressing, and just people just who are very ugly. That's real life. Uh, <laughs> it's the life that I'm. And used I to. don't want I don't want that. I want fun escapism. And this was not fun escapism. It's it's enough to where these characters are grounded. They feel like real people. Well, that's it, it, I like. Okay, that. I understand. And I do like it, my degree of verisimilitude. I like to have my fun, my verisimilitude. <laughs> and there's no nothing fun about this. Ah, so you want your cake and you want to eat it too. All right, I understand that. That's fine. It's I should right. enjoy <laughs> reading what I'm reading. I shouldn't. I enjoy. My, this. I shouldn't want to blow my brains out. I, I, I really like the part where they all kind of like some of the cops are like, hey, who all of you uh, uh, raise your hands if you can hear people. Like I was just like, are they going to go out back and just shoot them in the head? <laughs> That's what I thought. This was, this was You guys are going to a special place. and uh, But then they end up going to this professor and then they all end yeah, they, too, yeah. <laughs> and I love it. He's like, all right, who's what am I thinking right now? Yeah. And then they all start going into his life. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah. It's great. I had a lot of fun with this, but I, I'm still invested in mm-hmm. all of these characters. Mm-hmm. I haven't hated anyone yet, mm-hmm. shockingly. So um, I'm still stuck on this. I love mm-hmm. it. I think it's a lot of fun. So I would recommend. So Chicken Devil, you know, the art is, what's the word, bad yeah. in this. Um, but the story does have me intrigued because I'm one and I I really want to know where they go with this. I got to know. I got to know. I get that. Where they go. Because, but like you said, we said before, there's a lot of elements that really seem very familiar, yeah. like especially the Ozarks, and even drop Breaking Bad because I mean, there's some yeah. of the Breaking Bad elements in here, fast mm-hmm. food chicken. It's like they even called it out. Is it a line of dialogue in here? I'm like, yeah. It's like it, um, there's actually there's a pretty funny line. That I actually laughed reading, but um, I'm curious to see in the in the Boogie Nights scene uh, that, that <laughs> reference to that at the very end. It's like, yeah. But um, I'm curious to see where the art, the writer takes this. I want to know That's where fair. it goes next. And um, yeah, it, it got a reaction out of me. So okay, yeah, good, good. I'm Great. not mad at you. Yeah, it's a man. Yeah, right. okay. Number eight, the eight. Ocho. I got Titans United, number two of seven. Oh, I have Amazing Spiderman seventy six. The Amazing Steve Spiderman. Uh, so that was a the meh for me. I called it. It's the the yo yo comic for me. Mm-hmm. Yo yo ma. <laughs> and that's so, uh, but that's for me. People know I'm not, I'm not a big Spider Man fan. Likewise, um, mm-hmm. but I've liked this kind of revamp, bringing back Ben Riley and being like, "Okay, where is mm-hmm. this going to go?" And and I have no problem with that. It's yeah. it's it's the that Beyond Corp crap with it's the it's the guy in the chair stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I hate that stuff, and I I really don't like these. Um, um, su- supportive characters they've got, quote unquote, supportive characters. Shadow Core. Corp- yeah, I hate these guys. I really do not like. They're they are. But I think you're set up to to hate them. I I hope so. I really because if you're set up to like, if the writer's like, no, no, you're supposed to like this. It's supposed to be funny and cool. I'm like, to, according to who? Yeah. I mean, see, I don't see. I see them as obviously they're manipulating Ben, Ben, mm-hmm. and his home life, and everything. And I can. 
there's no way you're supposed to like these people and they're obviously going to be scumbags and mm -hmm. it's obviously going to be spider-man and ben rally teaming up to go after them or or is it or is it and that's another reason why i like this because it did like, not like, go like, the way i thought yeah, it was gonna go it's it good but it yo it's it's just it has that yo-yo <laughs> aspect but it was enough to it turn the good page. to bad to good to bad and just like no, it was I got good it. to that. okay from good to okay from <laughs> back to good. The, overall, I thought this was a good book. And then how it ends and what happens with a certain character, I was like, oh, I I have to keep reading this. I have to I have mm -hmm. to know what happens. Yeah, and because I mean it's got it yo yo's back up there. <laughs> yeah. So it's it, <laughs> well, it kind of it's like I didn't like the last panel, like how they with right I'm like, I don't like what they're doing with Ben here in that costume. But no, yeah. but that's just that's just me. Yeah, hopefully it's a one off. Yeah, it hopefully it is. Yeah. <laughs> but where this goes, I'm like, I, I have to read the next mm -hmm. issue, and that's an automatic mm -hmm. that has to be a recommend <clears throat> just due to the fact that a comic mm -hmm. book gets me to come back again. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Titans. I, ti teens, uh, Titans United number seven. This was a straight up old school action comic. This yes. is how I like my comics. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Fun dialogue, great action, terrific art, perfect. The Titans find out he's been fooling with their powers, and we get a cliffhanger. Great cliffhanger at the end. Oh, yes. And uh, tr it just strong recommend. I had a lot of fun reading this. This is how you do a Titans comic right. It's true. Yeah. Should have been on my skip -its. I'm kidding. Okay. Joking. The hell you said. <laughs> Joking. Eight. Seven. Seven. The Seta? I have. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Justice League Last Ride, number six. I got Symbiote Spider Man Crossroads, number four. Oh, okay. So Drew talked about this. Um, mm -hmm. I won't dwell on it too long. That cover is oh, oh my god, I'm beautiful. God, this is so good. Like it's just unbelievable. Um, art in this is terrific. Uh, I really like. I did not see what happens with dark. I mean, where that goes. Yeah, I missed the last issue. I'm like, I, I don't know how we missed the last issue. Must I want to go back been, and read it again. Yeah, and be like, did I miss come out? Yeah. Something? Or if it was just one of those things, like. Okay, it's like the twist in Friday the Thirteenth. It's like, it's not a twist if you don't drop hints. hints at, yeah, you, they don't <laughs> drop hints of this. Yeah, so it can't be a twist it's when you like... don't know there's going to be a twist. Mm -hmm. So it could either be that, or or it could be a, a an amazing twist. But I love where it goes, and I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. this is something now it, i know it's not in continuity mm -hmm. i can still have fun with the book even though it's not in continuity and i had a lot of fun with this book even though it's not in continuity um and i i thought i had a great time with it solid recommend because the art is terrific the story is great dialogue's great lobo is awesome mm -hmm. in this not in the mm -hmm. other series mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah solid recommend uh, I'm going to say a solid recommend for symbiote uh, symbiote spider-man crossroads number four uh once again i'm going to say it again God bless Gray Land. Yeah. Dude, it, 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 that one panel. The one the the one panel of Black Cat in this. Mm. Damn. I, I don't care what anyone says. It, it goes such it <laughs> it really rectifies all the bad art from like Dark Hold Iron Man or yeah. whatever else. It's like God, it's like, you see this like God bless Greg Land for him to come in and save the day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean it 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 automatic the second you turn the page, you're just like, yep. <laughs> yep, there we go. Yep. <laughs> it's it, great dialogue, great action. Uh, we get a twist with the with the Eternals in this, which in my probably my opinion. Uh, they're not the it, it and the um the deviants. The deviants, yeah. Yeah, it this was much more fun than the Eternals one shot. And I think this is probably the best we've seen of the Eternals. Yeah, so I far, yeah. I mean they are throwing them in everything, yeah, and you get different iterations of them in everything. Yeah. Sometimes they're fun. Like in yes. this, I have to agree. They're fun in this. They're relatable characters. Yes, they are. Yeah. Other times, they're just boring happens, when, and when bland. You, when you get a, a professional legendary writer like Peter David to handle them, who knows yeah. how to do it, yeah, it's going to be handled like, well. You can give them personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. As opposed to other times where you're reading it and it's just like, why do I like these non-people Yeah, that don't emote? Which is kind of how I'm feeling when I see the movie trailers. I'm like, yes. they really... Don't feel like believable. No, yeah, I don't care for them. No, so but Peter yeah. David does a great job getting great a character job in this. Yeah, in this. even the deviants. You know, yes. you 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 relate to the deviants in this. Oh yeah, because it's Spider Man and Hulk 
are with the deviants in this. And it's like, they're kind of siding with them. They initially. Do. It's like, <laughs> this, this is a good twist right here. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they don't, they're like, okay. Yeah, sure. This is a fun series. You know, once again, mm -hmm. Peter, David, Greg land, knocking out of the park. Strong recommend. Good. There you go. Great. Great. Seven, six, six, six. I have Star Trek The Mirror War. Okay. Number I, one. I have Titans United. Hey. Dose. Man, you got to hire than me. Yeah. Uh, continue. I love the twist in this where the, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh man, this could be really dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not. No. And it's great. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, the art is fantastic in this. Yes. Um, I mean, it felt balls to the wall almost the whole time mm -hmm. i felt like it was just it put its foot on the gas and mm -hmm. didn't really let up no this is this is how you're supposed to do a comic book you're actively engaged you're having fun it's action-packed yeah this is a mainstream comic this was one of the fastest i think this was the fastest read because i mean it was just whoa whoa, whoa yeah. <laughs> oh damn oh whoa i mean yeah. it, that's i mean it was so fun the characters have week. character in it you know? yes just all yeah. of them yeah and it, it just the dialogue going back and forth mm -hmm. between them and Connor, it's mm -hmm. like all this. It's like, I just, it's great. Everybody has personality. It's, it's unfortunate because there are books like this that aren't getting promoted by DC, which is a shame. <laughs> they have other agendas, I guess. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a shame because a book mm -hmm. like this, and I've really couldn't care less about the Teen Titans yeah. ever. <laughs> so yes. I, I, this is a lot of fun. This is how I would mm -hmm. recommend this week. Yeah. So I got Star Trek The Mirror War. Star Trek somewhere in the sky. Uh, friend of the store, friend of mine, Gavin Smith, doing the art in this. Great guy. His yes, yeah, his art in this is terrific. Oh yeah. I love his art in this. His art is amazing. And if, if we didn't have Donnie Case in the store, I'd be there hanging out with him at the other store right now. But I can't do that. Absolutely. Yes. I want to uh, you get to draw John Luke, Luke Picard. Card, you get to draw him as a badass. You know? Data. Yeah, you get, they're, they're blown away. <laughs> so, so, okay, so spoiler alert. This is the mirror universe where they're like uh, tyrants. You know, they're, they're the yeah. evil. You know, more quote unquote evil. evil. Yeah, so it's the uh, Abrams universe. Here we go. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, they're, they're all it's just, it's just great people. They're just blasting people away with the phaser, phaser rifles. It's like, oh my God. And Gavin has those originals. Oh. And it's like, I saw him drawing it like, and like, kind of want that original page i want that page yeah, yeah. well there's this yeah the, like the opening scene Same, yes within like four panels it's <laughs> like go okay yeah. <laughs> this is uh where's where we're at yeah and i love it so they're they've so these guys they uh, the enterprise crew they've got a plan what they want to do i don't want to spoil anything but yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of blood and guts a lot of explosions it's fun oh yeah yeah and I love how they drew uh, Chief uh, Chief O'Reilly, you know, uh, Chief O'Brien, how he's trying to get the third word done in time. I mean, and, he's yeah. sweating always. Yes. He's got like five o'clock shadow. Yeah. And he's like all eating the food all around the food. him. Yeah, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because you can feel it. It's like if he screws but up, he's dead. Yeah. He is literally dead. Yeah. I, they all like are shirtless. They all have like sleeveless, sleeveless yeah. shirts. They're all, all jacked up. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's great. This is awesome. Yes. It's a great, fun Mirror Universe issue. Number one, uh, Mirror War. Highly recommend. Cannot recommend it enough. Especially yes. if you're a Trekkie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or if you're not. I'm not a Trekkie, mm -hmm. but no. I still love Star Trek. Likewise. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a solid recommend. Yeah, can't mm -hmm. do that. All right. Okay. Next up is uh, number five. Yep. I got King the Conqueror, hey, number three. That's what I got. Hey! Hi. How about that? So, once again, I'm going to say this now. Carlos Magno, he is mm. going to be the rock star at Marvel. I'm calling it right now. Carlos Magno will be the rock star at Marvel. He, he will be on Venom. He will be on Spider-Man. He'll be on Avengers. He will be on a big book after this. I guarantee it. It has to be. A talent like this, you cannot skip it. You can't. After no. Marvel giving Joe Bennett the boot, I mean, they're th this guy, he is the rock star. It's amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Marco Trichetto. I love Patrick Gleason. Mm -hmm. I, love the, I love these guys. But Carlos Magno's detailed art in this oh is insane it is stupid there's a great the the oh. the, the, the scenes with the avengers fighting yeah. king it's like oh my god yeah. this is a beautiful it just all of it and yeah. then doom's and, intro doom oh in god. this comic dr doom 
mm. is written so well. It's like I, I am such a Doctor Doom fan. I know when he's written poorly, and I know yeah. when he's written well. This right. is one of those times where he is written to the T. He is written perfect in this. Everything he says, yes. every word just, is like it, yes, yes. It just, I can just see him say "boy." Yeah, just yes. like I love it. Just saying it like the the, the, the thin man, the, the tall the man tall from, man. from Phantasm. Yeah, just, I love it. Yeah, Scruggs. Yes, Scruggs. 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 I forget. I, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, but the, I mean, so the story may come across as a little back to the back to the future two ish. <laughs> yes. All right. May come across as back to the, back to the future two ish, but stay calm, enjoy the art, enjoy the banter. All right, it is fun. Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I'm a little worried about where it goes at yes. the end. Like possibly. Yeah. Don't crucify, mm -hmm. but. Yes, just let it let it take you where it goes. Yes. Like, don't try to jump ahead. Don't try mm -hmm. to overthink. Yeah, because I'm if, trying if you, to. If you do, do not. You, you, you cannot can't. not think about this. Don't do not think about it. You just will go with die it. if yes. you do. So just don't. Yeah. Just go with it. Sit back. And enjoy time, the ride. This is it's great. It's one of those things where it's like I I say people don't think critically about comics. Thinking critical, uh -huh. um, but when you involve time travel and future selves talking to past selves yes. with their other future selves. It's like, okay, I am too tired. I have more things to be concerned about. I'm just going to, and I'm just going to go with this. All right. This, yeah. this, this is in a, a little clause. I'll paper. It's like, okay, I won't think too much about this. I'll just go with it. Just an addendum. Yeah. Who cares? It's Kang. Yes. I, it, it's <laughs> like, okay, fine. I know your future past self so, and your yes. past future self so, yeah. are talking to each other right yeah. now. And then there's you. It's like, I don't even know what you just said, <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Sure. Yeah, just, if you think about it, you're just going to, you're going to go nuts. Yeah, yes. Just, you will go nuts. Just go with it. Enjoy the art. Yes. Carlos Seriously. Magno is the superstar. He's going to, he's going to be the rock star at Marvel. Guarantee it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was, this was a fun read mm -hmm. this week. Pick it up for the art alone. Absolutely. Please. Yes. Yeah, it's a solid record. In Dr. Doom's dialogue. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Loved it. Oh, man. Yeah. And why is it so low? We just got much, much more gooder stuff. Much more gooder, better stuff. Yes. And number four, the Quattro. Got oh, the, you borrowing one? See, I'm going to borrow Star Trek. I, I got number, I got May's book, number two. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, we already said everything we needed to say. <laughs> yeah, Star Trek Mirror Mirror. Yeah. This is so fun. Yes. Just seeing Jean Luc with a goatee being an asshole and <laughs> a, a scumbag and a badass bad ass. <laughs> is fun. Mm -hmm. So just get it for that alone. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a solid recommend. <laughs> and Gavin Smith's art is terrific in it. Gavin, yeah. you're great. I got an original piece from him. Likewise. I've got actually I got two originals of his own. Yeah, yeah. I got a Rorschach. Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pick this up. And I've got May's book, uh, number two, written and drama, Jeff Lemire. Uh, this is fantastic. This is how you do a mystery appropriately. Oh. Yeah. Throwing shade. I am throwing shade, yes. Uh, issue one had, was a great, great way to reel you in. Had a great mystery cliffhanger. And the way it slowly unfolds, like how he's going to be able to, how, how is he supposed to find his daughter? And it's like, you see how it's tipped off, you know, later on. It's like, Oh, okay. And it's like, this is getting interesting. It's like, I really like it. And you know, you really, I mean, it, it really, I really feel like Hitchcock could have done a movie like this. Oh yeah. Or um, it kind of reminds, it, 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 somewhat, there's a dash of it. It kind of reminds me of that, that um, movie Prisoners with Hugh Jackman oh, and yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal yeah. with the mazes and everything, the puzzles. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Which okay. is a great movie. If you haven't seen uh, Prisoners? Check it out. Arguably Hugh Jackman's best movie ever. But, oh yeah, um, you feel him. Yes, you do. Woo! But um, this movie has this book has a great mystery, mm -hmm. great art. It's really it's very appropriate for the story. I feel. Yeah. And uh, strong recommend. It, it, it is a page turner. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Sure. Sure. <laughs> great. Number three, the trace. I got Monster Kill Squad. Oh, I have the dose. Mortal Hulk. Number three. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What say you? I liked it. Okay. This was awesome. I would hope so. If it's number three. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a book. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's it's, thick. it's this is literally three comics mm -hmm. in one. 
it's what ten dollar price tag i think probably yeah it's like a ten dollar price tag uh but is worth every cent yeah this is one shockingly that's worth that cover price this is the wrap-up issue of joe bennett and uh al ewing's run and um let me let me just say marvel is going to regret the day they cut joe bennett loose this is a shame yeah because his art is fantastic and whoever picks him up yeah right they they're reaping all the benefits they are yeah slowly close his 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 art in this is gorgeous it is amazing um Um, I, I haven't been the biggest Immortal Hulk fan. It's it's ebbed and flowed. It's really it's. We want to talk about series. It's yo-yo. Yes. It, this series has yo-yoed. It really, I was all I was on board this train. Yeah, like first ten issues. Absolutely, I had them all. Yeah, sold them all. Like the, but, yeah. <laughs> it was hard not to. When they're they sell- were selling for stupid money. money. The second, third, fourth. Yes. It's like I had all the first hell is going on here. I'm yeah. like, yeah. And so I was all on board this, and then towards the middle, I'm like. Okay, this is you uh, lost me. It's getting way too weird yeah. and trippy. Mm-hmm. And then I kind of came back on it, was reading a few issues here and there, and then I was like, okay, I can't. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, last one. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't disappointed. No. I, I have to say this could have gotten really dumb, mm-hmm. really bad. Yeah. But I, I really feel Al, Ewing, landing. and Joe, yeah, they stuck the landing. Yeah. They handled it just right. And I'll save my thoughts for later. Yeah. But, and yeah. there's some character. There's some mm-hmm. twists. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. But then it's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I see what you did there. You got me. Yeah. Okay. And I'm a fan. And uh, so, yeah, I thought this was a solid, 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 solid recommend. Yeah. So to number three. But it's, it's one that had multiple covers. Oh, yeah. There's we're, like 15. 15 we're going to have Donnie signing one cover in particular. Tomorrow, Ooh. yeah, but this Alex Ross, this Alex Ross rap cover is mm. beautiful, yeah, yeah. So, pick this up this week if you haven't been a fan of Immortal Hulk. I completely mm-hmm. understand. Uh, just pick it up and read it. And the art again, terrific, solid landing, solid recommend. Mm-hmm. Mortal Hulk Monster Kill Squad number two. The art, once again, in this is damn gorgeous. It is love it. We get the we get more of the plot reveal of what's going on involving Pandora's box. Yes. How these monsters are getting out. And there's yes. a big twist with one of the monster kill squad members. I didn't see that coming. coming. Yeah, it's like what what? It did not yeah, see that. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay. These are very likable characters. I like them. Mm-hmm. So feel bad. Yeah. And um I love where it's going. I can't wait to see what happens next. And it's just a fun ride. It's just a fun action packed horror action comic. It is. I love it. Yeah. Is that a four issue? I think it's four. Yes. I think it's four. Yeah. Okay. So I can't wait to, I can't wait for the next two. Yeah. I love that art. Yes. The the artist in this. Yeah. Where's his name? Yeah. uh, Tomas Giorello. Fantastic. Kudos, sir. I mean, that first issue was so arguably that beginning. Yes. Terrifying. Yes, it was. Um, Yeah. I, I thought, um, this was a solid second issue. Absolutely. To pick up where that left off. I thought they did a good job. Yes, they did. So I would agree with you. Monster Kill Squad number two. Yeah. All right. Into the top two. Here two. we go. Uh, number two, the dose. Oh, hey. I got Immortal Hulk number 50. Okay. I got Jeff Lemire. I got the maze book. Nice. Total maze book. So, Kyle, you did not read issue one. I didn't. I sent it issue one for you. Yeah. Clearly, you were not lost reading issue two. Yes. So what did you think? Is your, what did you think reading this? Um, so Jeff Lemire is a guy. That, <laughs> oh, okay. Let's, let's try Okay. Stay on target. Yeah. He stay on target. He is a guy that I feel like for now I'm going to like this. And then yes. eventually I'm not going to like it. <laughs> like Gideon Falls, unfortunately. Yes. Mm-hmm. Really loved Gideon Falls starting out. I oh, loved, it was damn good. Starting oh, out. Yeah. so captivating. And yeah. then it's like, where is this going? Okay, I okay. You lost me. Yeah. You had me and you lost me. Um, this still has me. Mm-hmm. The you the way it's drawn. Yes. Some people could it could come off as okay, this kind of sucks. And I absolutely I, I yeah, I could yeah. see how, but like this fits right the story. It fits the story perfectly. I mean there's a melancholy to the art. Yes, that's what I was getting ready to say. It's a it's a I mean, this dad. The pain and anguish, you you feel yes. this, and then the, you see you see the effect this had on him and his it's ex. Had a, his ex, yeah. yes, God, the ex when you first, it's I'm like, well, at first I didn't know who it was, yeah. mm-hmm. 
because I, I don't know if she was in the first issue or not. Yes. Yes. Because they were, t- yes, I think she was. In the but first then I, issue. I yeah. picked it up immediately. Mm-hmm. Cause like when you see her, it's like, Oh, yikes. You were mm-hmm. road hard and put away wet. And it's <laughs> like, okay. And then he starts talking about wanting some things. And I was like, Oh, okay. I got it. Picked it up. Mm-hmm. And yeah. What, what transpires? I mean, I, it, you just you completely feel for this this dad mm-hmm. and his loss and just wanting answers mm-hmm. like what happened and yes. then you get when you get a phone call mm-hmm. and then it's like just the psychosis what he's mm-hmm. feeling what it's like he just wants to know and he mm-hmm. he needs answers and mm-hmm. I, I i was captivated by this book yes so for now it is a solid recommend Mm-hmm. It's a great story. It's a great book. I mm-hmm. really hope he doesn't get too out there. Yes. So solid recommend. Yes. Jeff if it, if it stays you. grounded and real and real, yes. if there's a, there's a, there's a degree of verisimilitude, high degree of it. Then yeah, this could be like, like one of the best series of the year. It Maybe, could be. We'll see what, we'll, we'll see what happens. See what happens. Please. Yes. I really hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope because mm-hmm. I really want this to do well. Yes. And I wanted Gideon Falls to do well. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that is what it is. Yes. <laughs> so, yep. Solid recommend this week. And I've got Immortal Hulk number 50. Uh, holy crap. This was this is worth the $10 price tag and more. Joe Bennett's art. Joe Just by Joe Bennett's artwork alone in this. It is yes. gorgeously horrific. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a panel I told you. Yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> We get some, we get some yeah. great cameos. I didn't even see coming mm-hmm. at all. And there's some, there's some serious fam, familial line, oh. like twists, yep. going on in this. It's like, yeah, whoa, did not see that coming at all. Yeah, when they start dropping, yeah, things, and it's like, okay, go, what? 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 Huh? yeah, <laughs> wait a second, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, um, what, Pete, uh, not Peter, um. The, the kid from from Family Guy is the son. Uh, Chris. Chris, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just, it, it, yeah, great drama, great action, great art. One of the, yeah, like you said, one of the panels that yeah. Joe drew with the Hulk. Yes. Oof. Oh. Man, you feel it. Uh, yeah. You feel it. <laughs> Holy crap. Yes, you do. Yes. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, you could do a hell of a lot worse than this. All I got to say. Uh, this is fantastic. This is a strong, strong, strong recommend. Uh, like I said, Marvel is going to regret cutting Joe Bennett loose. They are. They will. Oh, they will. He was one of the. He is arguably the reason why the Hulk, Mortal Hulk, did so well. Oh, 100 percent. Yes, absolutely. Because if it yeah. if it was terrible art mm-hmm. and the way that story was going, yeah, oof, it wouldn't have made it to issue. Yeah, you had the Dark Hold Iron Man artist doing this. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. <laughs> no. Not, nope. Um, nope we've been out there yes but yeah mortal hulk 50 pick it up it is it's it's late it makes the landing you know it sticks the landing it does great yeah yeah and this guy johnny cates oh he's got he's got his work cut out for him let's see what he can do <laughs> this whippersnapper yeah yeah see what these kids do yeah yeah <laughs> so number one that was number two that was number two number one of the week okay i've got Ice Cream Man. I'm kidding. Ah, Transformers, Transformers King, King Grimlock. Grimlock. Holy shit. Number one. Yep. I have loved every single issue of this series. Me too. This issue does not disappoint. No. At all. Once again, it is beautifully illustrated. Oh, so good. Yes. The artist in this, he gets the Transformers better than any other artist right now. His Grimlock is Grimlock. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. I want these originals. If anyone knows this guy, if anyone knows Padilla, mm. let him know. We want the originals. I want the originals. Please. Yes, I want them. <laughs> yeah, the way he draws Grimlock is, I mean, it's it's unparalleled. Yes. It's so great. And that honestly, that is like 85% of this comic. If yeah. the art mm-hmm. wasn't mm-hmm. as amazing as this is, yeah. uh, I it would barely scratch the top 10, I would think. Yeah. I, 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 absolutely story is good don't story, get me wrong yeah, story is really good it's and it's turn it's it's really it's it's <laughs> it's like it's grimlock conan yes and that's just what i love yes. about it it's grimlock it's yeah. grimlock as conan and that is perfect for this i could see that being the pitch yeah i could see that mm-hmm. they're like we want grimlock as conan 
and automatically greenlit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Because <laughs> he talks just like Conan would talk. Yes, yes he, does. he does. Which is perfect. It's absolutely yeah. perfect. And the, the one twist I didn't see coming with it, it's like, it's one of those, I didn't see that. It's like, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Something with the, uh, the red. Yeah. The red uh, magician. 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 Yeah. It, it's like, Steve, you tricked me. You got yep. me. Yeah, didn't didn't see that. I should have. I didn't. Yeah. But um, there's a great twist at the end with one of the characters who he'd been helping out. And it's like, I don't know. If she's gonna be helping him out any longer. Yeah, because it's like yeah. three factions. It's yes. Yeah. Two mm -hmm. groups of people. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So it's it's that. Okay. So this is the other group. Yeah. Yeah. Then the, she somebody makes a turn and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. You got me. I'm yep. coming back for the next one. Yeah, I'm coming back for number four. It, one through three, been solid, been perfect. They've been near the top for you. I don't know. Yeah, if every, almost every day. It, but well, he didn't initially because it was a week after a convention. I forget which one it was. I read issue one and I was blown away by it. Like I didn't expect much of it at all. It does, like, yeah. I, I was blown away, and uh, Sean was like, "Really? What, are you kidding me?" I, dude, I'm like, look, at, look at this right now. He's like. Yeah, that's good. And <laughs> just you have to admit it. It's like you have to admit it. It's like Avengers yeah. Mech Strike. It's like yes, I, Carlos it, Magno. On yeah, the yeah, it's like it, it's good. It yeah. may be a junk comic. This could easily be a throwaway. Yes, and it, I'm um, by all intents and purposes, it should be. A this throwaway. is much better than it has any right to be. It really does. Yeah, <laughs> just like Avengers Mech Strike and all those other yes. things that are just like, why is this more fun? Yes, than Batman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, more fun than Batman. More fun than X Men. Superman. Superman, Superman. Yeah, it's more fun than Superman. <laughs> like, it just it just goes to show you what great art and a solid writer can do. Yes, when they're trying, when yeah. they're trying to tell a fun story. And it's like you can tell these guys have a love and appreciation for Glimlock for the Transformers. It's like you said it right there, love. Yeah, mm -hmm. they love the character. Yes, it's not. They're let's... treating him with respect. Treating him how. They're, they're writing him in character. Yes, mm -hmm. the whole time. And th this is why it is our number one. It is hands down. Yeah, hands down. Perfect. Yeah, it is. Uh, so there you guys. You got it right there. You have it. There's our top 10. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I right? Kyle right? Am I wrong? Is Kyle wrong? Are we both wrong? Are we both right? Let us know. See what you, tell us what you think. And uh, don't, don't forget, guys. Um, remember to buy, buy what you like, click what you want, don't listen to the haters, and tune in tomorrow all throughout the day for our Donny Cates multiple live sales we're going to be doing. It's DC. Gonna, DC is in the house. It's going to be epic. It's going to be unbelievably huge. Yes. And uh, we will see you guys again on the flip side going live on YouTube and Facebook tomorrow. So, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>